I just want to know, man, was it hot enough for you? You see my girl. Was it hot enough for you? Exactly. You see my girl, Young Miami, trying to get her Queen Latifah on her, Jennifer Hudson. Got a TV show and everything and whatnot. And, I mean, it finally came back with season two. We've been waiting for it on Revolt. I mean, you know, it's no longer with Diddy because Diddy no longer runs Revolt. But yes, he, he does. You think Lies so? and deceptions. Doesn't he still get money for it? I mean, of course, you know, he gets under the table. But, you oh, know, comment yeah. down below, did you miss us? I mean, you it's know It's the first did. week we missed him forever. If you're watching this on TFTC Clips, sorry we haven't been feeding you on TFTC Clips because I was feeding him on the court. But uh, what were you saying? But back to the best the best award winning podcast by BET by BET, man. This is like I said, this is season two of Carisha. Please, season one was a banger. I mean, she had a couple episodes that you know are that passed over what four five million views. You know, we had the Kevin Gates one, the G Herbo, the Megan the Stallion, the JT. But I mean, you know, this one was different. You mean this one was different? She said. I down. mean, her interviews are okay. You think so? They were okay. She had a. I, I watched a couple of them. I didn't watch like every one, but a couple of them that popped up that like got on our radar for the podcast. We definitely checked them out. We definitely talked. Uh, checked out the one where she had Diddy on the show. That was off. Oh yeah, that was the first. That one, one. was crazy. Ugh, real bad. Like, but I was super into that one. But hey, man, we got a video right here. We got a uh, well audio right here. Basically, of uh, Carisha basically talking about the whole situation with Diddy, how uh, JT basically was a backstabber. The City Girls future. Why JT a backstabber? I mean, I, we gonna we gonna tell you when we come right back, man. Watch the audio. Come right. We gonna come right back. We gonna let you know. Um, are you still the amp of Diddy? I'm not. I said I was going to tell my truth. I think that it, it really, really, really hurt me because I just feel like, you know, Puff was a really, really good person to me. I feel like he came and he helped me and, you know, he elevated me and he saw a lot of things in me. And I feel like that's like one of his specialties. Like he know how to like find people and, you know, identify their talent. And he was able to see more than music, music mm -hmm. in me. And I felt like, he brought out another side of me. Like, he brought out, like, my jitsu side. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, my woman side. Like, it was, like, a lot of things that I didn't see in me that he brought out of me. You know, like, baby girl, you more than music. You are, you are icon. You a motherfucking mogul. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, put God first. Make sure you keep God with everything that you do. But I just felt like when all of these things came out, I just needed to take a break and focus on what's important. That was just me and my career mm -hmm. and my family. Like, cause it's just like, <laughs> I know my potential. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? And I just feel like I got an empire to build. Yeah. And I'm gonna invest every dollar, every penny that I got into myself. So I do pay for my own studio and I'm not able to release music right now. It's cause it's like, when I try to turn my music in, it's just like, we don't see no growth in your music. She's or, you know, label. you're not elevating it. You know, like the fans that y'all had six years ago, they grown now. And it's just Damn. like, when it comes to, I feel like, Young Miami as an artist, that's the music I make. Yeah. I make fun music. You know what it is, Santana? I feel like I lost my personality. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I the reason why I lost my personality is because everything is so literally now. Like, yes, we can just be at the pool just talking something and the next day you wake up and it's a headline and it just goes so deep. And that's something that it's just like, I feel like I lost myself. Lost yourself. So, like, tell me, tell us now, Saucy, how long did it take you to line up this interview? <laughs> who you who you calling me fat? <laughs> uh, I saw the clip. I was like, dang, my co-host is booking gigs. <laughs> you guys. Not only on TFTC networks, he's interviewing Carisha. Man, if this camera wasn't on, I would have gave him <laughs> 10, 10 years of reparation. I'm oh, telling you. I gave him some reparations on the basketball court with the sidestep and the what da 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 da. Man, whatever. But, but, but back, back to what we were saying, man. But Christian, man, why are you lying, man? Why you know what you. So, did you lose yourself when you was out there giving, giving Diddy that pink, like pink yayo? Yeah, did you lose yourself? We're not on you, Patreon codes. I'm, I know we've been gone. I said, yeah, yo, man. The kids know what you're saying. Uh, I mean, did you tell. Street did, talk. Did you care that? Did you care about Gina V when you told her to shut up before you make Diddy before you stick Diddy on her and so she can get on her knees? She been all kinds of wrong. Exactly. So, but if you didn't know, man, this whole situation is going on ever since Diddy had this whole raid situation happen back in March, twenty fifth. That still, 
still had no charges have been brought forward. Just a whole bunch of civil cases. You know, he was sued by like ten people who settled with Cassie. But uh, but I mean, this whole situation's happened, and it looks like Young Miami's castle was falling down, and she don't know where to turn. She trying to go. To I the, know where she's gonna turn. Hey man, she can't come over here. We're done with toxic girls, man. I got, I got, I know how to duck mace now. He got a restraining order. Exactly, but hey, man, listen. So, <laughs> yeah, dude. But um, but I mean, she don't know where to go, man. She's trying to go the music route. It ain't. She hit. ain't. No, she's it a ain't podcaster. Hitting. Exactly. She I mean, got podcasts in the year when she had only like seven episodes. True. Where people put out like forty podcasts in one year. We don't. I mean, how are we not in the running for BET <laughs> podcast of the year? Exactly. It, it don't make it don't make no sense. She got podcast of the year. She barely got she barely got ten episodes. So I mean, you know, but I, I guess she was making so much money from the podcast and doing working with Diddy with the whole Deli and sponsoring De Leon that she was like, forget the whole city girls. You see in the interview, she's talking about how, uh, oh yeah, we wasn't making no money. We wasn't getting no gigs. All she, she talks about how, like, you know, sometimes they try to book studio time. She blames it on JT saying, oh, JT would be like, oh, yeah, I can't come to the studio. The next thing you know. She be hanging out with Lil Uzi too much. Hanging, she hanging out with Lil Uzi. Or she doing secret uh, secret studio sessions with uh, Nicki Minaj. Mm-hmm. Which, I mean, you know, it's Nicki. I mean, like, if you. You don't want to give that up. If we on the same team, we the city girls. If you on, if you on the song with Lil Wayne, are you finna hit me up and be like, hey, Jesse, pull up. We finna be in the studio or you gonna do it alone? I'm gonna call you. I say, watch me be on this song with Lil Wayne. You ain't. <laughs> we'll, get, we'll get you a writing credit. That's we'll, get, best. we'll get you a writing you credit. You gonna leave me a bad and bougie? <laughs> Depends on how I feel that day. That's messed up. So, I mean, that's basically how she felt, man. She felt like she was left off bad and bougie. She's saying that, uh, I mean, that's why she didn't help defend Isn't uh, JT. Isn't uh, she already Southside's baby mama? She is Southside's baby mama. And she has another baby and she has another baby daddy. She's baby passed away. Lex Luger next. I mean, she did talk about in an interview how, like, oh, yeah, she's been through her whole domestic violence situations. And, Who's you know, putting hands? I mean, she, uh, before in the past. Are they putting, uh, <laughs> what? Are they putting uh, feet to arse? Nah, nah, but I mean, like she said, because everybody was talking about how, oh yeah, you uh, did if Diddy did that to Cassie, he probably did that to you, and she's like, oh no, I mean, I've been I in didn't that situation, exactly, I've been in those situations before, I never get, put, I never get myself put in that situation again, and I mean, like I believe her, like I mean, people uh, domestic DV is real, like it's horrible. Nobody, no, I that, mean, I don't know if Diddy maybe learned his uh, mistake, like he, he maybe- doctor love. Mr. I mean, Love. That's, maybe that's why he's Dr. Love now Because he knew that he was being too crazy uh-huh. So then when he got his next girl He wasn't like that at all I could see I could see him doing that But you know he was still doing Allegedly a lot of other crazier things That have uh, come up that we've talked about on this show So you know You know she had to see something Be around something exactly. You know she can't just get off scot free And be like that's not the person I knew Every time I knew him, he was nice and he was helping my career. It's like you were around him twenty four seven, and he was doing shady stuff. He was on like yachts, at least half of that, pretty much. You, so you it, had to be around it. And apparently, they said that she'd be a part of like his little uh, escapades, where he's you no, know, you know, living like the Greeks, living like the Romans. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. I mean, I mean, because they saying like she she with it, like she with the ish, like whatever you want to do, she gonna get it. She gonna do it. She gonna get the party started. You see, she had that tweeting crazy stuff to Gina V. So, uh, so I mean, hey, and she, I said, I ain't an S worker. I don't sell cat emoji. I ain't never get paid like that. She was like, out here saying like, oh yeah, hun, Diddy was in love. She helped her, uh, did a career. Ain't nobody was drinking De Leon, which I gotta admit, I gotta admit, I mean. Remember we had a uh, we had shout to shout our official sponsor, not sponsor Twisted Tea. Only drink if you are facts. Your well, age and your state. I remember we did remember that one time of uh, New Year's. We had the at you think you had the bamboo, the ba- little Wayne bamboo rum, and then I had the <laughs> yeah, I had yeah. the De Leon tequila, and yeah. it wasn't it, it, it wasn't. Oh hitting. man, this guy went from Ciroc to De Leon, and Ciroc was hitting. I mean, Ciroc was hitting back in the day when we were in college. Mm-hmm. Ciroc was the thing. You'd be in the club. And you get a bottle of Ciroc and a VIP, ooh, the baddies would come a walking. Hey. They're like, could you pour that shot, my mouth, Chico? I'm like, girl, you need to calm down. Hey, hey, you love it. See, you, you ain't like, putting on this. You out here living La Vida Loca. But I mean, so. I, it's so, college. It's Everyone real, is. It's out here sounding like young Miami out here jealous of whole JT career. Because you see JT. JT got that OK song that's going big. She got the whole okay, little okay, Uzi okay. situation. What is that with that Young Jeezy flow? Yeah, with the, and she's up there. It's also like a Chicago beat, like an old school Chicago Chief Keef type beat. 
Exactly. She knows what she's doing. Exactly. Chicago beat with the GZ flow, and I think GZ was on some old Chief Keef music. Ex- and she oh, that. Understand Me. He was on that one song, Understand Me, with Chief Keef. His, uh, on his mixtape before his first album, uh-huh. he did a song with him. Mm, and that's what her song that. okay sounds like. And then and then you had, you got Young Miami. She doing songs like with Skilla Baby saying uh you uh can't f with me and all that stuff. And you look good without look good without no makeup with that Skilla Baby. That song did all right. I mean it had a little buzz and shit that fifty fifty song. Ain't but that was like four or six months ago. On the board like sexy red. She ain't. I mean stay not. The but I mean JT put numbers on the board. I think she sold like twenty to thirty k or something like that first week sales. It was pretty good. because Lil Uzi wrote a verse. I mean, hey, I, I don't mean, I'm hey. just kidding. I have no idea. But I mean, apparently I, she writes her own stuff. She does that's write what, her own that's stuff. That's what they say. She's like, I mean, like, word when, on the street. Like, when they first started, um, and they first started, she was writing all, she was writing her music, and they had writers. That's what the whole little uh, Cardi B and whole Young Miami situation, all of them, Young Miami, Cardi B and JT situation started. So the real question is, goes, now that Cardi B is single and she clearly has the type, are you stepping in as Meek Mill Jr.? Whoa, what's the type? She likes people that look like Meek Mill. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> you look like the Meek Mill that fell down the stairs. Listen, I don't, listen Meek Mill got beat ah. up by Nicki Minaj. I, I, do I look like I get abused Meek by Mill women? Meek Mill got beat up by Drake. Do I like I get and abused? everyone made fun of Drake because he lost to Kendrick. So what does that make Meek Mill? That's why I grew up from the, that's why I'm from the other side of the bridge. <laughs> what side is that? The non-Philly part, the New Jersey part. Oh, Lord, here you go. The lies, but I mean, anything else you got to say about the whole Young Miami, uh, uh, Chris, Young Come Miami, to TFTC JT, Productions, situation? we will treat you right. We got a spot on the couch with your name on it. <laughs> we got plenty of snacks. Me and my co hosts are both trying to get in shape. So, when we go see an XG in a couple months, we can flex on them, they can touch our muscles. So, we got plenty of snacks here, plenty of chips, plenty of hot chips. We got it, we got you, girl. Like what my co-host said, but moving on, it looks. What? Who's next? We got you, got your girl, man. Not my girl. 